I'm filming this on the 10th of January and at the moment there have been no further updates about any changes to the exams in 2022. I looked at the Ofqual website, the AQA, the Edexcel. The only website that had a change was OCR and this is a document that it had which just um, re-emphasised some of the changes which are going to take place for the 2022 exams but this is not new news. But this is going to be the same if you're doing any other exam in England. So if you're doing A-level physics um, then you will be provided with advanced information um, and also that includes a list of topics from the specification that we part the assessment. So it will tell you the things which are going to be coming up. But what is also really important is that it says Topics not included in the list may still be assessed at a range of tariffs, including synoptic questions. So there might still be low mark questions about anything in the A-level physics course. There's also information here for GCSE physics and also GCSE science. And again, it says there's going to be advanced information provided. And this should all be out by the 7th of February, but none of that has been released at the moment. Um, and it does have extra information here. So if you want to find this, if you're doing OCR science, then you can click the link beneath the video. And I've got the same ones for AQA and Edexcel as well. At the moment, I'm not quite sure what's happening with international students, because I think depending which region you're in, it's going to have be very, very slightly different wherever you are in the world. But at the moment, in the UK, exams are still going ahead. And that's all we can plan towards. Now, I suspect that there's going to be um, at least three mock exams that you have to be doing in school. Um, and they're going to provide some evidence for your teachers um, if there were any issues with the exams. Now, I don't feel at this time there's going to be widespread disruption, but it will affect some people, especially if you have COVID or you have to isolate around the exam time. And that's why I think at the moment the government and Ofqual and all these other boards are working out what happens if you can't actually physically be there in the exam room to take your exam. Uh, and I think that's why a lot of these mock exams are going to be important because they provide evidence that your teachers can use to give you a predicted grade if you couldn't actually sit the real exam. But as anything comes out over the next few months, I'll make a video when it's all official. So what have I been doing? Um, well, basically this week I'm running a big competition on Twitter, which is for teachers. Um, and this is about a notebook I've got for teachers uh, called The Ultimate Book of Science Experiments. So if you're a technician, a tutor or a teacher, if you're watching this, then head over twi to Twitter where I'm at Lego Physics Guy, because of all the Lego I use, um, and you can find details about how you could win a free copy of this book. The other thing I've also been really spending a lot of time on, and this is like every single evening till late at night, is I've been doing this book here, uh, which is going to be called The Daily Workout. Now this is for A-level physics, and there's going to be questions for every single day of A-level. Um, this one here is just a draft that I printed out to check things are working. Um, and basically inside it, for every single day, there are a whole series of questions that revise stuff you've done at GCSE. Um, and it basically builds students up ready for A-levels. And then when they're doing A-levels, it's just going to remind them of the basics. So... Um, my plan once I've edited this video this afternoon is to start working through this big document. These are all of the questions for four months worth of physics um, and what I'm going to be doing is checking, to be honest this just takes so long to do but you can see the kind of questions I've got here. I need to check the formatting, I need to write in my answers, check my answers are correct, get somebody else to double check my answers um, and this thing here is taking absolutely ages because I've got three or four questions every day um, and so far I've done about four months worth and what I'll be doing is uh, making some of this freely available so you can have a look at it um, and also trying to get the books uh, ready so you can order one off Amazon especially if you're a GCSE student and you're thinking about what you need to do to prepare for A-level physics next year but eventually I'll have books for year 12 and year 13 physics so that's kind of the thing I'm doing uh, the A-level physics daily workout but to be honest I can't really give you any more updates about the exams because all I can do is like you is just wait and see what happens and hopefully cross our fingers that there won't be too much disruption over the coming weeks now that schools are back. As always if you haven't already done so you can subscribe to me on YouTube to stay updated with anything I'm doing like these Monday videos. You can follow me over on TikTok where there's daily videos and other random bits and pieces and if you're a teacher again go and have a look at Twitter and for all of you if you want to access even more videos for either GCSE or A-level physics, then you can sign up for the premium plan or even a school subscription over at either GCSE or A-level physics online. 
So yeah, um, hopefully when I come back next Monday for a video, I'll have a bit more concrete information about any changes that you need to be aware of for your exams coming up in 2022.